This video is about linear equations into variables for 8th graders. 8th graders, this is your virtual classroom. Just a few reminders for your convenience. Get a sheet of paper and a pen to answer the exercises. To make sure that you comprehend and follow through the concepts in the video, pause and replay this video at any time, in any point. Now you are ready. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to define a linear equation into variables. Illustrate linear equations into variables. And determine if an ordered pair is a solution to a given linear equation. A mathematical statement like 2x plus 1 is equal to 9 is an equation if both parts are equal. The equal sign is used to denote equality. If an equation involves a variable, for example, x, then a solution to the equation is a number that when substituted to the variable will make the equation true. In the previous year, you have learned about this, that linear equations in one variable such as 2x plus 1 is equal to 9, it has only one variable which is x, and the exponent of our x is 1. If you do not see an exponent to the variable that you have, automatically the exponent is 1. You also know that the solution of the equation is the value of the unknown x that makes both sides of the equation equal. For example, in order to get the value of x, we are going to subtract both sides with negative 1 so that we are only left with 2x is equal to 8. This time, we are going to multiply both sides with 1 half so that x will be equal to 4. And the solution to our equation 2x plus 1 is equal to 9 is 4. Now let's check if indeed x is equal to 4, or 4 is the solution to our equation. We substitute the value of our x to our equation. Therefore, 2 times 4 plus 1 is equal to 9. Simplify it further, 8 plus 1 is equal to 9, which is equal to 9. And that makes our equation true. Therefore, x is equal to 4 is the solution to this equation. If we are going to replace the constant 1 in the given equation by another variable, which is y, the equation becomes 2x plus y is equal to 9. Now this is an example of a linear equation in two variables. Are you excited to learn more about a linear equation in two variables? Well, you'll find out as you go through the lesson. Good luck! A linear equation in two variables is an equation that can be written in the form ax plus by is equal to c, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a and b are not equal to zero. Look at this equation. Can we write 2x minus 3 equals y in the form ax plus by is equal to c? The answer is yes. 2x minus 3 is equal to y can be written as 2x minus y equals 3. 
where A is equal to 2, B is negative 1, and C is 3. Now, how do you know if an equation is a linear equation in two variables? Is this a linear equation in two variables? The exponents of our variables x and y are equal to 1, which defines a linear equation in two variables. The values of our a, b, and c are real numbers. a and b are not equal to 0. Therefore, 2x minus 3 equals y is a linear equation in two variables. Now tell whether the following are linear equations in two variables. 10x plus 4y equals 3. Negative x plus 5y equals 2. y equals 2. 2x minus 3y equals 6. 4x plus 1 equals 9. And x squared is equal to y plus 1. I have here two groups, linear equations in two variables and not linear equations in two variables. So, do you have an answer now? Let's see if we have the same answers. Good job! Numbers 1, 2, and 4 are linear equations in two variables. Now let us examine. We have variables x and y, x and y, x and y. Correct. The exponents of our variables are equal to 1. That is right. Again, if you do not see an exponent to your variable, automatically the exponent is 1. And of course, the values of our a, b, and c in all of the equations are real numbers. a and b are equal to 1. Let's check that out. For number 1, a is equal to 10, b is 4, c is 3. For number 2, a is negative 1, b is 5, c is 2. For number 4, a is 2, b is negative 3, and c is 6. Now let's check out the other equations. Number 3, y is equal to 2. There is only one variable which is y. Number 5, 4x plus 1 is equal to 9. Again, there is only one variable. This time, it is x. And lastly, x squared is equal to y plus 1. This is not a linear equation in two variables, although there are two variables, x and y, because the highest degree is 2, which makes this equation a quadratic equation and not a linear equation. I hope that you can already give examples of these kinds of equation. For activity 7.3, which again you are going to answer on a separate sheet of paper, we have here sets of equations. Now list all that represents linear equations in two variables. Again, you need a separate sheet of paper for this and please submit your work on time. Were you able to distinguish linear equations in two variables in the activity given? Wow! You did it well! I am so happy that you have understood the lesson. Now, get ready for another learning battle ahead. This time, determine if the given ordered pair is a solution to a given linear equation or not. First, complete the following ordered pairs so that they satisfy the equation 4x plus y is equal to negative 1. We have a blank 0 and b 2 blank. Number 2, determine if the given ordered pair is a solution to the linear equation 2x plus y equals negative 12. We have a negative 2 0, b negative 5 negative 2, and c negative 12 negative 14. Now, in order to complete a blank zero, 
we substitute the y value into our equation to solve for x. So our y is a 0. Moving forward, 4x is equal to negative 1. And so x is equal to negative 1 fourth. Thus, the ordered pair is negative 1 fourth is 0. Next, substitute the value x is equal to 2 and solve for y. So our x is 2. 4 times 2 is 8, and then y is equal to negative 1 minus 8, and lastly, y is equal to negative 9. Thus, the ordered pair is 2, negative 9. Let's have our second example. Determine if the given ordered pair is a solution to the linear equation 2x plus y is equal to negative 12. Letter A, we substitute both x equals negative 2 and y equals 0 to our equation. So here we have 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 0 is negative 4, which is not equal to 12. Therefore, the ordered pair negative 2, 0 is not a solution since it will make the statement false. For letter B, substitute both x and y with a negative 5 and a negative 2, which then when we simplify further, negative 10 minus 2 is equal to negative 12. The ordered pair, negative 5, negative 2, is a solution since it makes the statement true. We have substitute both x is equal to negative 12 and y is equal to negative 14 to the equation 2 times negative 12 is equal to negative 24 and of course we copy negative 14 or we bring it down negative 24 minus 14 is equal to negative 38 which is not true the ordered pair then which is negative 12, negative 4, is not a solution since it will make the statement false. Now this time, you are ready to take on the challenge. It's your turn. Activity 7.4 For part A, write out if the statement is linear equation in two variables and NLE if it is not. You have 10 numbers to work on. For part B, complete the ordered pair so that each is a solution to the given linear equation. Now we have three linear equations here. Each linear equation has three ordered pairs. So what you are going to do is to complete the ordered pairs. For part C, write yes if the given ordered pair will satisfy the given linear equation. 6x minus 5y is equal to 1. And if it will not, write no. You have 5 ordered pairs here to work on. Again, you can pause and replay this video whenever needed. And don't forget to write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. And of course, please submit your work on time. And lastly, solutions of linear equations are any points in the coordinate system whose ordered pairs satisfy the equality. This time, we have reached the end of our video. Congratulations! Once again, this has been your teacher, Miss Mary-Kate.